Since the early 1990s, Japanese companies have invested in development projects around the Shanghai area, particularly in the Pudan New Area. Entrepreneur Kiyoshi Wanaka has been assisting Japanese companies' investments into China since the early 1990s. He said Pudong New Area Development was a catalyst to increase Japanese investment to China. Development of the Shanghai area enabled Japanese corporations to visualize China's opening up policy. That had a great impact, and I think it stimulated Japanese investments to China. If I remember correctly, developments in the Pudong area accelerated in 1991. Japanese investments to China rapidly increased from about 1993. I believe the Pudong New Area development has contributed a lot to this increase. Shanghai's location and familiarity made it convenient destination for Japanese investments. We have seen the rapid growth of Shanghai and Pudong development was one of the key contributing factors. Shanghai was one of the Chinese cities most familiar for many Japanese, so it was encouraging for Japanese companies to invest in a city they knew. Also, when we look at the Yangtze Delta as a whole, Japanese factories were built in Zhejiang and Jiangsu, so it was convenient for the Japanese companies to operate and invest in the Shanghai and the nearby area. Experts say that in the 90s, Japanese companies saw China as a global manufacturing hub, not as a potential market. China's regulations at the time were a hurdle. After the economic bubble burst in Japan in 1992, companies were reluctant to make bold investments. The companies were very cautious, very nervous about risks. For example, I was asked or was told in the 1990s that laws and regulations in China frequently changed, that it has so many restrictions. But if you think about it, it was the start of the socialist market economy. It was only natural that laws and regulations changed with the need. If you reverse your thinking, it could be more advantageous to invest while there were a lot of regulations. Experts here say despite regulations that differed from their home countries, foreign countries were able to increase investments due to more flexible policies in Shanghai. I think Shanghai was fairly flexible in accommodating foreign companies, Japanese and local companies in implementing investment and operations regulations. This contributed to the rapid development of the Pudong New Area. As for the Japanese companies, it had mega banks, constant information and capital flowing into the cities. Businessmen gathered from all parts of the world and this was an advantage for Japanese companies. I think it has played an important role in China-Japan economic relations. Pudong was at the center of it. Japanese companies are looking for new means of investment to China, whether it's renewing strategies from China as a manufacturing hub to cultivating the Chinese market. I hope to see more Japanese and local companies working together. Analysts say the Pudong New Area development was one of the key examples of successful China-Japan bilateral relations. Terence Teoshima, CGTN, Tokyo.